everyone. Welcome back to another month of Throwback Thursdays. This month, we are covering the last of Dragon Slayer Blueprint Shuffle. And this was week four. Uh, well, uh, how do I, I don't know how to explain it. Anyhow, um, I got this blueprint on the last week of week four, but I'll take you back and show you what each other creator had done prior to me um, and then what I added to the blueprint. So round one, Anagmandra had created this already masterful uh, blueprint uh, with 768 pieces. It's just so freaking enchanting. I mean, this is just like, this could work as a blueprint, just as it is. Boom. There you have it. You have a Cosmic Cow Ice Cream Shop. And you have a, a Gulpy Drink Soda. Is it soda? Yeah. But, uh, all the details she adds. Way out here. Oh, and there's bathrooms in the back too. So a total of three shops. And what I love about these, like, uh, what I learned about about doing with a, as I work on these blueprint shuffles and working with these established creators like Anik Mantra and Red and and Raven and Awesome Possum and Hinmira, they all just added just really cool details that you don't think about and I think that's the thing that why this could be just a standalone blueprint is just all the details all the clutter is like Wix would say you know like even like vines on the, the roof little pots and lanterns and just a little window so yeah it this just it makes it just takes everything up a notch she even has some little smoke coming out of the chimney but the composition is just beautiful. So this is what she did, and what we all, after her, had to like add on to. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, I was honestly like, I was really intimidated to get any wins. <laughs> but I was really glad I didn't, I, I just was all like, oh. I can remember in chat, Awesome Possum and I were like, we both felt very overwhelmed. Like, how do you add on to this? You know, it was already perfect. But Awesome Possum had it week two, and she added 714 pieces. And let me tell you, they did a they did a wonderful job. They 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 really did. They added on. Now let me just. Oh gosh, I think did they already have? That? Okay, yeah. So what Awesome did was they added on to like the flowering over here some pathing and this really cool building so you didn't have to add another shop and honestly i mean like it, it just there was no need to it just added what this did was they found a way to put uh a, this really well-designed building in between these other two and it really works the composition really really works so awesome did an amazing job an awesome job <laughs> then in week three round three Raven Raffle uh, added 678 more pieces and what I really liked about what Raven did was that uh, it took, oops, pardon my outstanding camera abilities, <laughs> they took uh, Annie's flower bed design here and carried it along. But uh, they did this really cool little uh, vase. You have a little fountain in here with flowers. Just, I 
lights was really cool. I really liked how she, uh, they, she added these little lights in here. So you could walk around. This way. She just carried the whole theme around there. We'll go back in this side. Let's see what's over here. Oh, dead end. Okay. Huh. It's been ages since I've seen these blueprints again. <laughs> So it's kind of nice to go back and, and look at them. But so she just, she, she added on and honestly, again, like this would just, you know, it, it was amazing how each creator, like you're thinking, how can you even add on to this? And it's perfect. And, and then they, they add this and it makes it even better. And you're like, yeah, you know, it just, it's really cool. So that was week three. And then week four, round four, I, uh, I got it, <laughs> and I was scared. I, I just was like, I didn't want to touch anything of what these amazing creators had done and ruin it, and then they all mad at me. I just was like, I'm not good enough to really, you know, I, I really struggled with that, but I found a way to add a thousand and seventy her pieces to this and I honestly added more I had to delete stuff because I was when I had seen the piece count I was freaking out I was like oh no because um, I only thought you could go you can only use a thousand and I had been over and uh, so I had messaged Red and he's like it's okay if you have it you can use it but uh, I was like it, it taught me this was working on this week and having to delete stuff helped me edit a bit, which was good. Um, so in the previous months, you'd seen the different shuffles and how with the Nordic, with the Nordic uh, food court that I had initially made and with the um, Bare Necessities, Annie had uh, gotten the blueprint after me. And bless her heart, you know, she'd be like trying in chat, like just, uh, she's a very gracious creator, always supporting everyone. And, you know, she has a lot of valuable tips and she would try and tell me like, you need to group them together and, uh, see how like, this is not, this is not a piece. Like, look at all these little things. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> all these things are not grouped. But now, let's come over here, and I'll show you what I mean. See how it's all grouped together? It's all like one little blueprint. That's what she was trying to explain to me of like, and I just, I, yeah, it took a while to uh, get that uh, concept. Well after, honestly, if I'm going to be honest. After, until after uh, the Airbender last Airbender coasters, <laughs> that's when I had a friend take the time to uh, stream and show me all the tips that he he learned, and it really helped. But um, I appreciate Annie trying to explain it to me, and I apologize that I just. I wasn't picking it up. <laughs> I wasn't ready yet. But anyhow, going back to the blueprint. So, I analyzed this, like, what can I possibly do? And Raven's really cool maze. I thought I can do the same thing, like, do a summer maze, you know, on this side so it's balanced. I was really into um, uh, balance and symmetry. And then I could also, since like uh, you see over here, Annie had like uh, this pink castle and pink flowers and stuff, the theme over here, and, and Raven had 
carried her floral color over here as well. I thought, well, then I'll I'll take Raven's maze from back there, and put it over. Well, you know, create like a little maze so it's balanced. But then um, take a uh, Annie's idea with the flower beds and uh, do the flower bed like the these kinds of flowers uh, and bring them on over here because that's what she had done. She had taken these flowers and put them over here. So I just I kind of recreated it, but in the, this color palette, so it blended over here. So I did all of this this walkway. And it was really cool. I do appreciate because I, I was thinking, how did she make this? And uh, let me... I thought this was really cool to. Uh, uh, I can't. Okay, with my. Uh... Let me just uh, turn that off. Okay. Um. All right. Anyhow, these are little signs that she had used as. Uh, little barriers, little fence garden uh, pathway barriers. I, I just thought it was really inventive. And I like seeing what people use to create things that, you know, instead of just doing the typical things, they take things that you wouldn't even think about in a game and use it for a different purpose. And I, I really like that. So, yeah, so this would all be path. And uh, I had this little maze, so I, I did this. I had like a little, little topiaries you go through here, and in here there's like a little ATM machine. So um, neither Awesome Possum nor uh, Raven Rebel added a shop, so I felt pretty confident that I could add, you know, because there was only two or three, three things total in the blueprint. So I added the ATM, which brought it up to four. And I added a Missy's Donuts. <laughs> that you get to at the end of the maze. A little sweet treat for your hard work. <laughs> and I really enjoyed Holy theming this. And um, I, so uh, also from Bonjour, uh, in the contest, when it was featured in the contest video, uh, if you can recall, I had the shop, the outside of the shops were like these, the, the natural brick, uh, blue and white, or blue and black checkered uh, shop. And I had the gingerbread on top of it. But I, I left the blue tile showing purposely. Um, I, I didn't want to skin it because I've gone into coffee shops and they had that tile thing. And I, I couldn't find anything in game at the time where it was like, it, I just was like, I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, but uh, I do like theming and like, uh, and closing it all in. And so I did that here, you know. Because I guess a lot of people don't like seeing the, the shop building naked, as you could say. I don't know, but so anyhow. I carried along this uh, pergola or little cable. I don't know what you call it, but uh, anyhow, uh, Annie had one between her two buildings, and Raven had one in her maze, and so I. I did a similar thing, and I was really happy about how this turned out. I did have, um, I created a giant yellow uh, smiley face topiary <laughs> that was right there, and that was like 500 pieces, and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta take that out. So it was about this size. Um, <laughs> but anyhow, I, I saved that and you'll see what I did with that in the next few months in this series. Okay, so do I have anything over here? I think I do. I think I just kind of, just little nooks in here, yeah. Kind of carried this whole thing out. 
and um, it's a really gorgeous blueprint that everybody just let's turn on at night We'll just take a quick look. So, okay, um, in round one, no lighting other than what you see from the shops. And then Awesome Possum had added, well, I, I, I guess Annie had this little lamp, but um, Awesome Possum added a little lamp that's similar. Okay. So then Raven Ravel added lights on the buildings. And in here. Yeah. And I was really enchanted. I really liked, well, oh, there are so many things. I really liked how. She put lights in the flower beds. I thought that was really, really pretty. And how she lit up the, the fountain. But I really loved how she added the lighting in the maze. I just, I really liked that. I was like, oh, I've got to copy this. <laughs> it, I, I really liked it. It was gorgeous. And how this lit up, I was enchanted with the lighting on that. It's just it just pops and just ah oh, yeah I I was really impressed okay and so I had done similar with mine added some uh, lighting. I didn't add that. I add these lights. I don't know why I did purple. I don't know. I thought it looked good. <laughs> That's my only excuse or reason. Um, yeah. And I love these flower lights. I thought, yeah, they're really pretty. Really fairy tale-ish. I'm lighting up the cypress trees. But, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I really like this at night, too. These are one of my favorite lamps. They, they create a really nice lighting ambiance. And there you have it. So let me. Oh, we're stuck in. <laughs> we're stuck in the maze. All right, let me get out of here. All right. Oh yeah, this video is coming up on 19 minutes. All right. And there you have it. Haha. <laughs> the end result. All right, well, thank you for tuning in to watch this video in the series of Throwback Thursdays. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for bearing through my stuttering and <laughs> great feeding words and commentary. Um, but if you liked it, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, a comment. If you haven't subscribed, you would please consider doing so if you like what you see on my channel and uh, hope to see you next month until then peace and love bye